those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hi, hey, lovelies. Uh, do you know, I've really missed these little intimate chats between you and I uh, in the kitchen, and this one in particular feels very needed. Um, and I shall explain why. I'm not sure what the title is going to be uh, of this uh, video yet, but I knew that it was important to make. And to be honest with you, for the last week, I've been wanting to do uh, a live video. Um, just, you know, me and Jason sat down and you guys and interacting. And uh, we just haven't found the right opportunity or the right time um, to do that, which has been a shame. But this I can do. Um, and uh, like I say, I, th I feel like I really needed to. So uh, let's just take you back to um, last weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm speaking to you on a Monday here right now. Uh, so not this weekend, just gone, the one before. Um, we had uh, a really lovely uh, weekend. Um, we went to uh, a, a, a gorgeous uh, a tapas and wine evening um, on the Saturday, and then on the Sunday uh, we had the, uh, the those vegan guys meet up in Manchester, and um, they, you know it was a great weekend. It was it was a, a really good weekend, um, and. Uh, the meetup, which is nobody's fault, it, it was, it was no, it was nothing anybody could do. There were floods around the country. There were um, uh, secret uh, 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 surprise trips planned. There were things happened, and um, only one person made it to the meetup. We had a great time, we had food, we had fun, we did a live video, you saw that. Um, and then, and I'm going to be really honest with you, the because this is what I think led into Monday. Later on in the evening, those little thoughts started in my head. Um, this was a, I, I've just validated everything. There was... Everyone that said they could come and then didn't come had a completely valid reason for it. But that's not how brains work. So my brain started, but this wasn't even our idea. This idea came from our subscriber base. Why don't we do this? Oh, brilliant, let's plan it. Da -da -da. Nobody comes. Um, Oh, sorry, should have turned off my Wi-Fi. Uh, which I'll just turn off my sound. Um, that's a very important thing. <laughs> <coughs> so that thought started on Sunday evening. And then my usual evening thoughts which I fight against all the time started and laid on top of them so what are your what are the thoughts you fight against uh, every night Paul uh, I only discussed this for the first time with Jason on Saturday this Saturday just gone um, and he asked me a very 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 valid question and uh, I, I shall explain to you how and when it started. So the night that my dad died, which is seven years ago in January, the night the the night that my dad died, he died at uh, just before six o'clock in the morning. Um, the night that he died. It was a it was a tough day that you know the day happened as those days do and uh, I adopted a role of um, strong leader 
for the day because I had to. When it got to the night time, I was lied in bed and I went through this whole horrible thing in my head of imagining what what it was like to be dead to just not be there anymore and of course because I'm imagining it from a place of consciousness I'm imagining my consciousness in a cold stiff motionless dead body and I had a massive panic attack and that's when my nighttime panic attacks started. By the, my nighttime panic attacks are very specific. I wake up <gasps> with a kind of gasp, feeling like I have just prevented myself from dying. And they happen quite often. And they've happened ever since the night my dad died. And they were much worsened by the aura. If you're new to the channel and you don't know about the aura, I'll link the video up there. So, I, uh, do you know what? I've probably got this t-shirt on in that video as well. I don't wear the same clothes all the time, honestly. It's just I do have my favourite things. Um, so, I discussed... Sorry, this is a bitty story. I discussed that with Jason on, on Saturday and I went through this thing and said, every night I think to myself, what if I die tonight? And then I go through all these horrible, cruel, self-depreciating, self-attacking images in my head. What if I die and there is and your consciousness does survive and sees and hears and what if I have to see Jason fall in love and it turns out to be the real love of his life and I wasn't and I have to so I go through all the, this this I sound like a crazy person don't I I'm describing being human it's just that with most people it's perhaps subconscious I'm aware that of the of monkey brain that's what this is it's monkey brain <laughs> chatter 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 anyway Jason said to me and have you answered the question what what what's your conclusion so you go to bed thinking what if I die tonight what what do you do you won't know about it and I think I needed that real kind of uh, down to earth like and but if you're dead that's it you you know you, uh, and so it kind of it it brought to fore like why then why 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 allow those thoughts and it's not like I embrace them like oh come on in thoughts I, I fight them of course I do but they're still there. So, Monday came after Sunday last week. I had the chat with Jason this weekend. Monday came. Uh, Jay went off to work in the morning, gave him a kiss, love you, bye. And I sat in on the sofa in the front room and rather than taking you th I wrote it creatively in a Facebook post and it's the responses to this Facebook post be it through comments or messages and some messages that I've received from other people on other platforms that I'm making this video this is the reason I'm making this video so I wrote this on Tuesday this was my Facebook status on Tuesday. It would be fair to admit that I had a wobble yesterday. Crept up like a ninja and got me. The smoke got me. Sweet brown. Just trying to comedise. 
started mildly weather wrinkles worry of my wallowing then the train got faster as it always does you are old ugly useless a burden unemployable tolerated only fat desperate not respected not liked you may as well off what would it matter and on and on luckily i have techniques now and confidence maybe even pride i petted the black dog told him he couldn't stare i have a cat and no treats for you i stood with the door open and gestured as if throwing something off he ran i closed the door he'll be back i'll be ready paul and i ended it with a true story with artistic license i share because I need you to know it isn't just you. Me too. We got this. Message me anytime. And the responses to that post and the messages that I had from that post made it very clear to me again that depression is pandemic there are so many of us who deal with this whether it be a continual ache or a rare sharp pain it's there and is it any wonder look at the world <laughs> look at the people who are in charge of the world we've got Trump in America, we've got Bojo over here, we've got Russia, we've got Ukraine, we've got the, the fact that we're probably going to be pulled out of the EU, that it's crazy right now. The world is a crazy place to live and what you have to do is hold on to those anchors. And here's one of mine, funnily enough. Uh, will, you, will you come and see me for a minute? Will you, will you come and see me for a minute so that people can see you? Come on, just say a quick hello. This is, this is Isis. This is Isis and she's one of my anchors. Sorry for grabbing you darling, but you're so moody. And you so don't like intimacy, except on her terms. Where at night time she'll sit on your knee for hours, won't you? As long as you're getting a back rub or something. So she's one of my anchors. My main anchor, of course, my beautiful husband, Jason, is at work. My mum is one of my anchors. She lives a few doors down from me. This, I cannot tell you what an anchor this is. Um, the, I, I was actually, chatting to uh, Jason about this the other one sec sorry cat wants to go out girl I'll leave it in a jar for you soon to come back whenever you want am I still in short yes thankfully um, totally lost my thread this is what she does to me do you see yeah it, it, it's basically about finding your anchors and this is a major anchor for me and I shouldn't make them I shouldn't make them advice would go against this this kind of length this kind of intimacy this kind of regularity of upload but this year we've got so used to kind of bringing you the, our friends um huge parts of our lives we love to share those parts of our lives with you <coughs> um and some would call it oversharing, over uploading, you know, the, some of our videos are too long. We know that, we get that. And we're, and we're working on doing smaller things that will have a bigger access. But this is important 
to me and I know it's been important to some of you as well uh, so I'm going to refer you to two other videos uh, the first one uh, is a show I used to host a TV show uh, in Manchester if you didn't know and the episode that had me complained about and eventually had me pulled off air after a year of doing something that will always be one of the greatest loves of my life um, the video of that show I'll link up there um, there was something else I was going to link up there when I remember it I'll put it in there'll be a few things you know that and just in case you don't know because I know some people get very confused the eye that's up there when you touch the touch me touch the screen it might pause and you'll see a little white circle with an eye in it if you press that underneath this video will be links to all the videos I've mentioned within it so you can you grumble do you know what I mean that's all right um, so yeah I got out of my funk which lasted several long dark hours thankfully that's a short time um, and and then I picked myself up for the rest of the week and we got on with filming the Vegan Queen's review show uh, and the you know, other recipe videos and you know um, we've got all sorts in the pipeline as we always have but these days come these days still come and there are also moments that are more kind of that are stronger but example so I went to Oldham today to do a, a to check out the Iceland range that's a whole other video you'll see it in our uploads folder playlist um, and I went into uh, an Edge UK uh, charity shop and was having a look and there was this song on and it just now and again you know it's rare for me now and again something hits me lyrically and melodically and I immediately feel connected to it or like it means something to me or that it beautifully epitomizes a part of me or whatever and this song all of the above um, so uh, I, I came out of um, I came out of the Edge UK shop because I'd, I'd, I'd only heard a, a snippet of it in there and it was Google we are not beautiful lyrics Ed Sheeran and Khalid beautiful people oh instant play on me Amazon music tears just tears listen to that song and in one way it beautifully epitomizes how I feel about where Jason and I are at here on YouTube yeah that's pretty much I like it so that's become a fuel song for me good fuel some songs are not good fuel they take I don't mind being made emotional if that emotion has something behind it that I can use positively um, so I've had some great distractions this last week I'm learning how to do um, wig styling through watching James Mansfield channel who's fabulous um, I'll just show you this very quickly this is what I'm working on at the moment uh, if you saw this when I first got it you'd be amazed at uh, where she is now 
because when I first got it, it was basically a, a completely flat on the roots and just masses of frizz. So I've back on the hell out of her and made this top part. I've straightened a lot of the hair and I've added these curls at the front. And um, yeah, so, and if you saw the Vegan Queen's um, last review video for um, uh, Drag Race, the, uh, the, the beautiful, am I in darling? Yeah, the beautiful pink um, wig with the turquoise and the purple ends. I styled that too. Uh, I've, you're never too old to learn new skills. 50 and proud, honey. 50 and proud. Um, so yeah, this was about sharing a really a dark, very dark period. I'm also being hounded by the legal representatives of my former employee, employer, uh, uh, um, who doesn't seem to understand that I'm not at their beck and call to do what they want when they want. That's probably played a, a, a factor in stuff as well. But you know what? I do sometimes feel old and useless and all of the above, but um, I I also feel like a warrior. But honey, you don't go through what we've been through and, and come out the other end, you know, without armor and a shield and some kind of spear. I, so I know I'm a, a warrior. And I'm not Instagram perfect. I've got dark circles under my eyes. Oh my goodness. 50 years old and lived a life. <laughs> Most of the time, I embrace it all. Now and again, it all clumps together and knocks my feet from under me. But I got knee pads and shoulder pads and elbow pads. So I'm okay. I'm not going to break anything when I fall. Just got to get back up again, right? You, you are not alone. Oh, my God. Yes, you're not alone. We all have dark days. We just got to learn to deal with them. We've got to have our anchors. We've got to remember that we're a warrior and even they fall down sometimes. And as long as we continue to talk with each other and to share our experiences and more to share how we got out of the funk by owning all of the good stuff that the black dog tells you is irrelevant the fact that you're a good person and that um, looks are not half as important as they're made out to be in this world being a good person is huge that you care that you matter that you're there for somebody to talk to them that all of these things are you know important really important traits um, I hope, I've, I'm sure, this is because I don't edit, uh, because I don't script, there is always something that I feel like I've left out afterwards, but I think I've shared the, the important stuff. I don't want you to see this happy Paul, hi I'm Paul, together we have those vegan guys, and think, oh great life, happy guys, yeah absolutely, but now and again, and I'm down, um, but I get back up, and I'm here to tell you that I got back up, and I'm here to tell you that you can get back up anytime, and that you're worth it, and that you matter. And if you don't feel like you matter to anybody, you matter to me.
You just do. You matter to me. Who you are matters to me. Your place in the world matters to me. How you interact with people matters to me. Because we all should matter to each other. We all should be supporting the good in each other. Refusing to accept the bad in the world. Um, so yeah, you matter to me. And most importantly, I matter to me. Please make sure that you matter to you. Mama. Ah, lots of love. Be excellent to yourself and each other. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps us out loads. It really does. And check down there in the description because you'll find loads of links. The two ways that you can best support us to keep the channel going are through becoming a patron on our Patreon down there in the description or buying our merch, darling. Fabulous link down there. We deal with a fabulous vegan company called Vegan Original. Check it out, guys.